Hey guys, it's Walt, K4OGO, or for one more week, uh, SP, stroke K4OGO. I've been here in Poland for two months working. I'm about to go home. Brought some great horizontal antennas with me. I have a, a dipole, off-center-fed dipole, an in-fed half-wave. You know, I just wanted to make one more antenna just to have some fun with, and uh, I wanted it to be a vertical. I don't have any other thing left here to uh, make a vertical out of, so you know what I decided to do? Let's make one out of a tape measure. I've seen people do that, but I'm going to take it a little farther. I'm not going to make it out of just one tape measure. I'm making this one out of five tape measures. Quarter wave vertical for 20 meters made out of five tape measures. Stick around. I'll show you how it's done. I'm building this antenna from six tape measures that I just happened to uh, come across. I'm a design engineer. I had a couple of my own and then found a few other ones laying around the site and just picked them up to do this with. What I'm going to do is attach with, with electrical tape a small wire lead to each one that we'll use to connect to a clip that I brought along with me. Uh, and we'll, the, the ground plane will be made, the counterpoise will be made with this. I also have a one-to-one -one choke ballon that came with my dipole at, from N9SAB, uh, a nice little choke ballon that I used on my 20-meter dipole that I have here. And uh, I took a little fitting, a BNC fitting, put a piece of wire in it with an alligator clip and, and taped it up with uh, electrical tape. So uh, that's going to be what I connect the coax to the uh, actual balance choke and then the vertical tape measure that we'll be using for a uh, a driven element so let's put it all together and uh, see how this all works out okay here it is completely built one of the cool things about the a 16 foot or a five meter tape measure is it stretches out that extra five inches not that i was going to be a, you know resident on the uh, counterpoise but uh yeah there it is so you can see man here's my handiwork it's ugly, it's not pretty. I got the clip, I scraped off the back so we can make contact with the tape measure for the, uh, the radiating element there, the, uh, the uh, going up. Uh, there's the uh, nice little balance choke that I got from Tim, uh, N9SAB. And then there is everything but together. As you notice I taped all of these together. So what I did, there are all my radials coming out. Five of them and pretty much a star. This is the one lone wolf that's a little bit longer than 16 feet. This one's about 25 feet. I have that one pointed. That is at 70 degrees here where I'm at. So uh, see how that works. Uh, anyway, there it is. There's the old uh, broken up sand surf rod holder that I left here last winter. And up in the sky, all the way up, 16 feet, 5 inches, there is the tape measure vertical antenna with tape measure counterpoise as a ground plane. How cool is that? This is going to be a lot of fun. I'll go inside here in a second, and uh, we'll test the SWR. Hopefully, we can make some contacts. Like I said, I'm just having some fun with this. Ran out of uh, ran out of wire, ran out of stuff to do, didn't have all the right connections and everything else. So, you know what? It's part of the spirit of amateur radio is experimenting. Now, this is an experiment. Let's go see how it works. One thing I didn't mention, this thing is going up on a 5-meter telescopic pole that I left here last winter. This thing took a hit in a storm last winter and snapped in half. I've got it all taped back together and wrapped and, and held together with some electrical tape. This will also be uh, using uh, 50 feet of coax up to the room where I'm at, and I'll be operating with my Zygu G90, just 20 watts. Okay, let's uh, check SWR and see what we got. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if we'll call that luck or uh, great design, but I'm happy with it. We're, this is perfect. Let's uh, let's go see if we can make some contacts. Roger, Roger. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I've got a real elaborate system here. I've got 20 watts, and I have a five meter long tape measure taped to a pole. You kidding me? You kidding me, young man? 
one man, that's right, that's it. That's a five nine plus signal, so tell me what antenna you really got. Really am. I, uh, I have a five meter long uh, tape measure uh, taped to a pole. I have five more tape measures, all five meters long each on the ground, uh, sp spread out like a star as the ground plane here. Just was uh, experimenting and playing around. I didn't have enough wire to make a uh, vertical with. I said, you know what, let's try these metal tape measures and they obviously work pretty well. A QSL, QSL, you are 5'9 into the north of Poland. My name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm talking to you with just 20 watts and a 5 meter long tape measure in the air. Hi, QSL, Walt, yeah, you have a very good signal into this part of Norway. Almost 300 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. And we are now located on an island called Rolla. Romeo Oscar Lima Lima Alpha Echo Uniform as 046. Um, and we are running about 300 whiskey into an XP. Well, it's not every day you get to talk to someone in the Arctic Circle named Thor. So I was pretty excited with that QSO. What a cool one. I continued making uh, just great QSOs across Europe, uh, especially as the gray line was coming across. I don't think I've ever been more excited than to get up the next day to see what will happen. VK4KA, this is a Sugar Papa stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Good afternoon, good morning, Corey. Uh, Roger, Roger, you're about a 45 here as well, but great to make contact with you. Not exactly great audio or a uh, or transmit there, but you know what? A 15,000 mile long path QSO on 20 watts with a tape measure? Yeah, I'll take that all day long. Excellent, Walt. And I got you there 60 kilometers west of Gdansk. Nice to get you in the walk this morning, Walt. Uh, you're about five and seven with me here. Good signal. And conditions are so so. I just had nice QSO with the VK, but he's really the only decent signal I've worked uh, this morning. And uh, it's, it's pretty. You know, I can continue just uh, showing you QSOs across Europe all day, but uh, you get the picture here. This thing worked, and it worked well. What a fun, fun experiment. And I hope that I've, uh, you know, maybe uh, encouraged you to get out and do something like this, too, because this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I did it. Sometimes just uh, scrapping things together and making something work is, is fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. See you soon.